Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make an evil minion pencil top. All we're going to need is a single loom. You are going to pop out the middle column. We don't need that. And you're going to pop out the big base of it. Your other two columns are going to be facing the same way. All right. Now, we're going to start with making his hair and you're going to need 12 of these little single chains and they're each five long. Now you can see I have 11 here waiting. I'll show you how to make them. Take a single band and place them somewhere on the peg where you've got room to move down five. So this is three, four and five. Then you're going to do an end cap single band, wrap it once and twice and you will pop that on there then you're going to dig down past that end cap and grab that single band and we loop it up so you're going to do 12 of these and you're going to pause me do your 12 or 11 more and then unpause me so we can continue together when you have 12 on a holding hook or a pencil or something like that. The colours that we're going to need to make this little guy are black, purple, a single white band and we're also going to need a googly eye. Now I have a sew on googly eye and I've actually threaded that with a metal threader on here. You can use a bead, you can use an adhesive googly eye and stick it onto a button, um, whatever you choose. The way we're going to make this um, this little pencil topper is taking some black bands to start with and I'm using some new bands that I got from a different company today to try them out. Take a single band, you're going to stretch it, figure eight, and loop it on itself and then it's going to stretch from one peg to another but rather than just stretching it like that we're going to put a twist in it like that so it's a, another little figure eight an infinity loop twist it on itself in the figure eight loop it on itself and then one more twist we're only using six pegs so if you're using your monster tail which has eight pegs all you're going to do is not use these two end pegs okay Turn your loom around and this is the only row that you're going to do this with. It makes the bottom a bit tighter and stops it from sliding off your pencil. Okay, so there we go. Now our second and third row are both going to be black, but all you do is lay your bands across the peg like normal. Push everything down. So that is row two. Now let's do row three. Push everything down. Now, as we come to loop this up, have the, arrow, have the arrows facing towards you or the open part of the peg facing towards you. You want to be left with four black bands on each peg. Now, because we looped these over, we've got more than just the bottom two to pick up because each single band on that first row is two. So you're going to take four off the bottom four bands. Okay, and that will leave you with four on your peg. Make sure you push things down because there's not much room. It's two and four, two. And if in doubt, count <laughs> four, two, 
and four. And this is the only one that really has any difficulty to it. I want to make sure that I'm being left with four. So one, two, three, and four. So these two go up like that. So that was our first three rows. Our fourth row is purple. And push everything down to make room. You're going to loop your bottom two black bands. As I said, this is row number four. Row number five. There's two black bands up and over. Now I'm on row number six, that's purple as well. Bottom two bands, these time these ones are purple. Now we're on row number seven. Now seven, we're going to put the arms on. So let's make some arms. Take a single band, purple, loop it on itself. And do two there, and then a black one. Do the same on the other side. And our end cap is going to be black as well. Single band, wrap it once and twice. And that will get placed on the end, on top of the black band. Like that. Let's dig down past that end cap and grab the band and loop it up. And again here. Hold on to that end cap so it doesn't go flying off. Okay, so as we place these purple ones, here and here, we're actually going to have um, an arm on it. So take this one off and slide it onto a single purple band and we place it here. And then we're going to do a around here. And this is where we're going to have our next one. So again, take your other arm off that we just made and slide your arm on to a single purple band and that gets placed here. And then we do our other two like that. So this was number seven, okay, with the arms on it. Take the bottom two and loop over. Put 
push everything down. I'm going to do row eight, which is purple. Again, the bottom two purple up and over. Sometimes it's quite difficult if you've muddled up the order of placing the bands. But there we go, let's try and place them gently and in the right order. Okay, so now row number nine is going to be black. Two bottom purple, up and over. Push everything down. Okay, we're doing another row of black. This is number 10. Take the bottom two purple up and off. Push down. Now we're going to do purple, and this is also going to be where our eye is going to be attached. Oops, let's push that one down a bit. Now, I'm going to lay two here like normal after I push this one down and then I'm going to take my googly eye and I'm going to stretch it across both those pegs here these two big pegs so effectively we have an extra band on these two pegs but don't worry about that we'll, we'll loop them in take the two bottom black up and over and make sure you stretch them over the eye. Okay, we have a last row of purple. Now onto this last row of purple, we're going to slide all the little chains that we made to make hair. So grabbing your holding hook, you're going to lift up one side of the band and slide two chains on and replace the band. Okay, then the next side for this one. And, oops, replace the band. Move around. I keep my finger on the side, one side, so it doesn't get lost. So, 
there's one chain, there's the next chain and put back on one chain, two chains and put back on one and two and put back on. Now this one you got the bands on either side are above it so you have to take one off like that. I'm just going to put it up there. Hold this one off. Slide these on. Replace my band and replace my band. Push things down. Now the fun begins. <laughs> we need to get the two bottom black bands and lift up and over. And you want the hair to stay on the outside layer, on the outside of your loom. So dig down and grab those two black bands. Now if you do move the hair in, as you do it, just flip it back over when you've done. Get over the eye. You have to push those black bands over the eye. Okay, like that. Now we're going to do the next two, which are two purple. Okay, the bottom two purple. But in the case where we have the eye, there's three extra bands because we had the band for the eye. So what we're going to do, as you can see, we have five bands on that one as opposed to four on the other. Instead of taking the bottom two, where you're either side of the eye, take the bottom three so that you're left with two bands on. And for the eye itself, what you're going to do is loop over so that you only have two bands left on the peg. So that is the aim to have two bands left on each peg. Like that. Taking a hook we're going to collect all of these bands and I'm going to do it the opposite side of his eye. So his eye's there. I'm going to start here. Okay, and I'm going to slip all of these bands, these two bands, and again I want the hair in. Flip the eye forward as you collect its band so that it's going to be on the outside and not the inside of your creation. <laughs> Come on here. There we go. So I've got all of the loops on my hook. And it is a bit fiddly, take your time. Grab a single purple band and we're going to slide all of these bands, all of these loops onto I broke a nail here yesterday, so it's tricky to grab that one. There we are. Slide them all onto that single band. And then what we're going to do is take these two ends of the band, flip our little dude forward, and reclaim the end of our band at the back of his head. Take the side closest to you, up, over and off, and we pull tight. And what we're going to do with that loop now is splay it open and do it like a ponytail over his head. Alright. Kind of like that. Now, if that's how you want to leave him, that's absolutely fine. He fits on a pencil quite nicely. Like that. If you want to do his mouth, 
you are going to have to use a single band and you will need to add a clip inside and it can be tricky I quite like leaving him just like that as I said though the band you're going to take your hook and slide it inside and poke it out on one side of him and you're going to drag it back through like that you will want to add a clip I'm using an S clip to that band okay and you really kind of want to hang on to it you're going to dig your hook down again and poke it out the same side not the same side, the same place on the opposite side and pull that through and then you're going to attach that to the other side of that clip and let go and you can adjust his mouth any way you want to make it look a bit grumpy now the problem that you're going to have which you don't have if you don't have a mouth is that you have a clip up there now so it makes it a little harder to poke your pencil not too hard but it's still a, a challenge at times but there you have your little minion your evil minion I hope you enjoy making him take care